Where do I begin? Manchester student accommodation. Let's go. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be speaking about um, Manchester student accommodation. So I know that a lot of you guys will be currently applying, um, deciding what uni you want to go to, firm and insure. So I thought it'd be a good idea because I get quite a lot of questions about accommodation, like which one should people apply for, which ones I recommend, what I think of each one. So obviously I haven't visited all the accommodation in Manchester because I just haven't, but I have visited a few. I've got friends that live in um different ones. So first of all, I'm going to say that I'm going to put, um I don't know what you call it, but like the time thing um to show like which campus I'm going to be speaking about there's three in Manchester so I'm going to be speaking about those then I'm going to be speaking about um private accommodation because that's always an option city campus let's start with that one so city campus is the closest one to the university by far when I say it's close literally you can roll out of bed and go um depends what one though so there's two that are right next to um the main part of the uni so the main university building and those are Denmark Road and Whitworth Park are two that I've been to that are very very close to the university so um if you're the kind of person who wants to get up um go straight to uni no problem whatsoever you don't have to get the bus like, it's literally a two minute walk um if you're at one of those two accommodations, then you're really close to um, a street that's got shops in it. So the closest street has Lidl's, has Superdrug, has literally everything that you need. So very accessible, um, very near the university. Price wise, I think they range. So um, Whitworth Park is one of the cheapest ones. I know it's shared bathroom, um, uh, self-catered. Denmark Road is unsweet and self catered too. Um, what would I say my personal opinion is about them? So, Denmark Road, I recommend. Everyone says that there's lots of international students, and the problem with that is that in city accommodation, it's usually more peaceful, anyways, because people go that if you look when I was researching the accommodation at Manchester, I was looking and people were like, oh yeah, um, there's no nightlife, blah, blah, blah. It all depends on who you end up with. A lot of um, people say, oh yeah, there's international students. I don't really, you know, they're there to study. There might be, there might not be. It all depends. Um, I actually, Whitworth Park is fairly nice. Um, I don't think I've heard any problems about it. It's all like Whitworth park is quite like closed off as well so in my opinion it's fairly safe um the problem with the other city ones is what ones are there western hall george kenyon i don't know where that one is um and a few of the other ones those ones i haven't been to but i've been past them and they are very close to the other campus so manchester the university has two main campuses um one that's right down Oxford Road, which is the main road in the city, and then one that's a bit further out. And those accommodations, the other city ones, are close to that. So on here, you'll see that the purple little houses that there are are the city accommodations, and you can see how they're spread out. So I would say if you're applying, if you want to be near the nightlife, which is Fallowfield, then those ones are quite difficult to go back and forth from Fallowfield to. You'd probably have to pay for an uber because that's probably the safest form of transport in my opinion um yeah that's everything i sort of know about city ones victoria park victoria park is the like middle the in between so it's in between city and Fallowfield. it's the in between one um yeah um what would i say about that it's quite what well, close to Whitworth it's fairly close to the centre I wouldn't if I had gotten into one in Victoria Park I probably wouldn't have paid for the bus either because it's it's quite easy to walk so there's a few of them I think there's three I think Dalton Ellis, Holm and St. Al Al 
and Zoom, I think it is. Those three, I think they're shared bathrooms. The rest of them are en suite. Um, Victoria Park, what would I say? I haven't visited any of them. Like, I haven't been to them because mostly people from Victoria Park, if they want to go out, they go to Fallowfield. A lot of people that I have spoken to that are in Victoria Park say that they would have rather been at Fallowfield instead. So I can't really say too much about Victoria Park because I don't know that much about it. But if you do want a bit more peaceful, all of that, not right in the city and not so far as Fallowfield, then that's probably pretty good. Like, again, shops are very close. So you've got sort of everything that you need. Um, yeah, that's all I can really say about, about Victoria Park. I don't really know too much about it. Next is a Fallowfield. So... I get so many people asking me like, oh, which accommodation, Fallowfield, which accommodation, Fallowfield. So Fallowfield at the end of the day, it's all sort of like one big student accommodation. Like it's all accessible. So like you can get from like anywhere from like Owens Park to Richmond in like two minutes walking. Like it's very, very accessible. Um, so if you are someone that's like, oh, Fallowfield, Fallowfield, anyone in Fallowfield will do. Um, they're like, some of them have a worse reputation, like Oak House and all of those, but those are shared bathroom. But from my opinion, I don't think they're bad at all. Only problem is with um, these ones, I think I can speak a bit more individually about them because I have visited them. So Oak House, um, you may not be able to sleep that's all i'm saying so um one of my friends he's at oak and he lives like right in the center of like where oak house is because oak house um has lots of different buildings and the ones that are closer to center is where everyone sort of hangs around at night so he can always hear people outside like there's always people around and like people are always doing things so bit a bit hard to sleep that's all i'm saying um eric house is definitely where the party's at um very like lively i i quite like it at first i didn't apply there personally because all i'd heard was like really bad opinions about it like oh it's like a prison blah 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 rooms aren't bad at all do look a bit prison like but um the bathrooms are gendered so you have two and you share like that kitchens are pretty big you have enough space for everything i think they have like sofa chairs as well which some accommodations don't have so i think oak house for the price is pretty good if you want to be in fallowfield um so ashburn and is it ashburn and walton hall i think those two are is it shevin as well no so Ashburn and Walton are both catered ones. Um, I visited them briefly and um, personally, I wouldn't go for catered. And the reason I say this is because they set out the time. So breakfast is from like one this time to that time. I think usually it's between seven and nine. Um, I think lunch you have to sort yourself out and dinner is from a certain time the problem with that is if you can't cook obviously it's a very good option for you because you have you know i've heard the food is pretty good so you know you get served your food enjoy your meals blah 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 um the only problems is is the times because if you miss the time then that's it like there's nothing you can do about it so personally as someone that wakes up at the most random times and goes to bed at the most random times or you know i get hungry sometimes and then sometimes i'm not then i wouldn't personally go for that but i can see why some people would um you do also have like a little kitchen it's it's not very big at all but there's enough to sort of keep a few bits and bobs to have like for lunch and snacks and all of that so it's not like everything's just prepared for you you can still sort of like sort yourself out if you have to what one shall i speak about next so um owens park so owens park 
um all i really know of is the tower and that has been closed off this year so well apart from the students that managed to get in there and protested which i'm like very proud of but um yeah i don't really know too much about it all i know is that um shared bathroom and it's catered to that's all i know about it richmond so um two of my best friends well my best friends at uni um live in richmond and it's ensuite and self-catered to i think again like oak house pretty good you know the rooms are pretty nice um the only problem that they have is that they're on the ground floor and ground floor you'll get people outside your window at like the craziest times and yeah but um if you want something that's unsweet in a fallow field is a decent price and you can cook for yourself you know there's enough space it's spacious all of that then that's a really good option because it's right in the center well centerish of fallow field so you can get from everywhere really easily um yeah that's all i can really say about that so fallow field in general is quite far um it's quite far from like the main university like a lot of people just buy a bus pass and use that but i'd say um if you do like get along with your flatmates and you are in fallow field then maybe if like you buy a bus pass like say if it's four people buy two between the four of you and then just like use them because they don't check i think that's a good way so you can do that to get to the shops because um there is a massive sainsbury's there but it's more expensive and lidl's is further down um where victoria park is and where like some of the city ones are so obviously a lot of people just get the bus back and forth from fallowfield to go to the shops and that um what else can i say unsworth if you've got the money apply for it yeah apply for it you might as well i mean if you want to spend that much money on accommodation it is very nice accommodation um there's nothing bad to say about it it's catered ensuite massive rooms all very modern pretty good um the only thing i'd say is um it's very high in demand so chevin chevin is it's right next to one of the catered ones i can't remember which one it is but chevin is um about 151 a week it's for the price uh it's i don't know uh it's ensuite as well um self-catered the rooms are a bit a bit small i don't know it's it's okay for the price that's the thing because unsworth is the most expensive one and then after that i think it's chevin and richmond and if you compare the prices between them so chevin is 151 and unsworth is 160 and for the price difference of nine pounds a week i think unsworth is very worth it i you know mm, i don't know i'd say that those two aren't worth the price as much so 151 for what you're getting it's pretty decent you know you're in fallow field that kind of stuff but you know the rooms aren't going to be incredible like Cunsworth they're not going to be you know next level stuff I hope I'm not offending anyone that's actually staying at these accommodations right no because I would love to be in fallow field so what happened to me personally and now I'm going to go on to the topic of private accommodation is I put down my five options and I didn't get any of them so I had a bit of a variety I think I had um Richmond Unsworth in Fallowfield I had um Denmark Road I think I had another one in Fallowfield I think I had Chevin as well um and one in City and the reason I put those five down was because I, I really wanted Unsweet and self-catered because i prefer to be cooking for myself and yet i didn't get any of my options they didn't give me any of the five which i was a bit angry about because they were saying about like oh yeah put down your five options and i didn't get any of them which was 
irritating so I had to find an alternative path and I decided to look for private accommodation instead because the one that they did give me um was shared bathroom and I wasn't too comfortable with the idea of like sharing bathrooms because I feel like it's it's a bit of a gamble if you don't get along with your flatmates and that then sharing a bathroom I think the one that I gave was mixed bathrooms as well with 10 people um with like two toilets and two showers I think and I was just a bit like mm, personally I don't like it's not really for me um so I decided to go for private accommodation and I'm currently at IQ accommodation. They've got various locations around Manchester and the one that I am at is um, basically a five minute walk from the uni. It's on Oxford Street, which is very accessible. Um, the only problem is, is it's a bit more expensive. Um, but private accommodation, I'd say, is a good option to look at. I know that there are a few private accommodations in Fallowfield as well which I didn't really look into I just went with this one because you know it's right next to the shops it's right next to uni I was like I'm pretty happy with that one suite and the price was okay so I decided to go for that one um I'd say the only problem is is that you don't meet as many people from your your own university um especially if you go for iq accommodation because those are associated with manchester metropolitan university so a lot of the students that you meet are from there but in a way it sort of gives you an opportunity to meet people outside your university to make other friends and you know meet people from random courses at a different uni i think you know it sort of broadens your options for friends and all of that so i'd say put your five options down but if you don't get it just have a backup plan just instead because um manchester reveals the accommodation i think a day after results day something like that so um just have something prepared so that you don't have to do what i did where you're like oh my god you know and have to faff about and try and find somewhere last minute you know just have your options sorted out and then have something for backup just in case things go wrong um because i did meet a few people that the same thing had happened to them as it did me um where they put down their five options and didn't get any of them um and by the way if you do end up applying to manchester for clearing that shouldn't affect your accommodation like options like don't think because you went through clearing then you're going to get like the last minute rubbish accommodations because i know someone that went through clearing and they got unsworth park you know so it doesn't depend on that whatsoever um so yeah these is the this is my opinion on sort of the accommodations if you've got any more questions about any of them in specific that you want me to mention or any specific questions about the university itself or you know student life there any of that just literally comment it below and I will do my best to answer. So, yeah. I'm out.